This is part one of our series on reports in databases, particularly Microsoft Access. And we're just going to look at how we can create a basic report and just add a couple of features to it. So first of all, what is a report? Well, a report is a way to organize or summarize the data so that it can be printed in some sort of report. So if you remember, we had a table which had a whole bunch of data. And if we had to print it just like that, it would be very difficult to see what all the data is and to get specific data it's quite complicated seeing it in that table format maybe we want a little bit nicer design especially if we print in a document and we're going to be presenting that printed document to someone else so we can take that table and the data that's in that table or a query for example and we can base a report on it so something that looks a little bit better like that there you can see it's a printed page we can have a nice little heading and have some information on it and we can lay out the information in a lot better format for printing so that the, you can see all the data and so you can pick your particular format in it so we can do that whenever we create a report now if you watched our series on forms you'll notice that it's very similar to forms except for you're just doing it for a printed format instead of a form so at the top there you'll notice that those are the labels and that's where we put um, the labels for the fields so you'll say first name surname so that you know what each column is about and then this section over here all these blocks are the text boxes and that will contain the data from the table or the query that you are referring to so if i look at it in design view this is what it would look like in design view you'll see that there's a page header and in the page header you have the actual labels that will display as it is so you can change those and it won't really affect anything so you can change what those fields look like maybe you don't like the word contact number and you want a space you can change it there However, in the detail section that has the text boxes, which has the actual link to the fields in the table. So whatever is in the table will be displayed there. These you can't change what they say because they're not going to say the word contact number. It's going to basically show the value for the contact number, the value for the division. And you'll notice in our report, we had a whole bunch of uh, blocks for each row. Yeah, in the design view, it only shows one. Well, it will just repeat this detail section again and again and again until it gets to the bottom of the page and then it will recreate the page with a brand new page header and then continue with those details so that's how you can view your data now there are some controls that you can add to reports which are very similar to what we did in forms so the basic ones we can add a label maybe you want to add a new label or maybe you want to specify some other information or your name or something like that on the report you can use a label if you wanted to connect to a particular um maybe an image maybe you want to show a little bit nice little picture on it you can use an image there if you wanted to so there's the image component um, and then also maybe you just want to draw a line you like separate everything by lines you can use that and you can use all of these options which we're going to try now in the actual report so here we've got our database that we had in the previous examples and we're going to go and create a new report so i'm going to click on create and we're going to go to the report options we can design a use the design you can have a blank report and just add stuff to it or we can use the report harry potter i mean the report wizard so let's click on that and we can specify which values we or where, what values we want in our report we want to get the data table so i want to get the data table and you can specify which fields you want in your report so there we go i can add all of them if i want or just some of them so let's let's add the paid so we've got that in our report okay and then I can click on next and it'll ask me if I want to do a grouping. We'll talk about grouping in the next lesson. And then I can specify if I want to sort data. If you want to sort it by a particular field, um, you can select what it looks like. If it's got, got tabs or columns or, or is it justified. You can also specify if it's landscape or portrait. Maybe you want the page to be printed long ways um, or portrait. Um, and then we can adjust the field length. All of these options you can read through. And then changing the name remember our naming conventions this is a report so i'm going to use rep as my prefix so that i know the difference between the table tbl data and the report tbl data so there we go and i'm going to go finish and it will show me and design the form for me now i've got all of this lovely little form i'm in the print preview option so i can go straight to printing but i see that's not very nice it's got all these hashes and what does this all this mean well let's close this and we can go to the design view you'll see i'm in design view so now i can change things over here so 
let's close a few of these things so I can see my report a bit better. So there we go. Okay, so here we've got our field. Now you'll notice that the uh, birth date and that didn't really fit. So what you can do is we can go change the, the actual layout of the form. So we can look at the options at the top here, maybe the format. You can see, oh, page set. Oh, maybe we want to make it a landscape. If we make it a landscape, we can probably make this a bit bigger by making our page a bit bigger. And we can make our fields a little bit longer by doing things like that. So that is the actual field at the top. So if we go to our view view in it, we can go don't I don't go to print preview every time, just go to report view. And there you can see paid is spread out a little bit more, but it's still got those hashes. Those hashes mean we can't actually see uh the data in because it's not big enough. So if I make paid just a little bit bigger, boom, then you will go to report view. There we can see the data a little bit better. So I'm gonna change these a little bit so that we can see all the field. All the fields are a little bit nicer it's spaced them out so i'm going to do that ahead quickly for us so what i've done is i've just rearranged some of these fields a little bit make them a little bit spaced out and give them a, make them a little bit bigger by using those options over there to make them a little bit bigger i've done that so that we can actually see all the values a little bit better so there's no more hashes anymore it's a little bit better laid out maybe pay we want to move up a little bit so you can do all of these lovely little things over here you can actually make it um uh, Maybe you want to make it justified or you want to make it left aligned or right aligned. You can do all those types of things by selecting home and seeing all the options over here. So maybe you want it centered, for example, and maybe the field we also want to make centered. Now, I suggest when you are moving fields, remember, these are the headings at the top um, that are always displayed as is. So I don't want it to say contact with number like that. I want it to say contact space number because that's the label at the top. First name, I want to say first space name. Maybe I want that second bit to be a small letter. Things like that. You can change the labels and it won't affect the data. The, the detail section, these are text boxes. And they will they, they contain the data that's related to the word first name. If I change that to a first space name, it's going to try to look for data in the table in a field called first space name. And there isn't a field like that. So there will be a problem there. So the, 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 the text boxes leave as is. Um, because that's going to fetch the data from the table and repeat this detail section again and again and again. Where the labels at the top, we can change as we wish. So let's go view it. There we go. You can see a little bit better spaced out. It looks a little bit nicer. So things like that. You can also do other features to your, maybe we want to add uh, another label at the top. Maybe we, we want to edit that particular one. You can change that label and say uh, report on, let's make it first of all a bit bigger. Let's make this text box, or not text box, the label a bit bigger. Report on employees. And I want to put my company name maybe somewhere over here. And we can put another label in. There's the label. So I'll say company name, whatever your company name is. And we can click on it and obviously go back to home and change the font and the size of it. And so I make it a bit bigger and all those type of things and change the color and so on. So you can do those options like that's adding a label. Maybe we want to put a line bet between each record. Well, that, in that case, I'm going to come here to the detail. I'm going to move the detail down just a little bit. So we've got all the details. And then I'm going to come check out. Do we, oh, there's the line. I'm going to put a nice little line across here. Make sure that it's nice and straight. And I'm also going to right click on that line and go to properties. And then this will appear and there I can specify details about the line. Maybe I want to change the color of the line or where's the border color. Let's go see all these options over here for that particular line. Maybe you want the size of the line or to be solid or what type of width do you want? Do you want it to be a little bit thicker? And those are the types of things that you can do over here. Maybe we want to change the color. I'm clicking on color here. I'm going to change. Let's make it to a yellow line. So there we can see it's a bit. If I click away, you can see there's my yellow line. And let's close the properties. So let's go view what this form looks like. So there we can see a nice little line between each of the records. So those are the types of things. So anything you do in the detail will be repeated for each and every record that is displayed. So that's where we've added a nice little label. Um, we've added a nice little line. Um, just like we had in the the form, you can make your report to have a little footer. So you drag that down and you can change the color of the bottom. Obviously, try not to use too many colors with regard to the backgrounds because this is going to be a, a printed document and you don't want to use up too much ink with unnecessary colors and stuff like that unless it's very necessary. 
And then the other one I think we did was an image. So if we're going to put our nice little logo and just move your mouse over until you get to the word image. There it is. Boom. And you can add your image, of, for example, over there. And we can go find a particular image like a logo. And you can add it in like that. So you can add your little details. Anything that you want to change, you can just right click on it and go to the properties. And you've got all those options over there to change. So there we go. We've got a basic little form. Or basic, no, it's not a form, but basic report that we can use to print. I'll make that a bit smaller so we don't have that white space. But you can have the little basic idea of what it's going to look like. If we go to print preview, you can see what each page will look like. So maybe, so there we can see page one, and then I can move to the next page, and this would be page eight. You'll notice that the report header is not on page two because the report header is the top of each page of each report and the page header is the top of each page so just remember that and right at the bottom of page eight we will have the report footer so there we go so there's a nice little form for us for more videos in this series on reports go to our youtube channel subscribe click the like button and leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way